Reverend Mike McDonald here from dashlegacy.com. Here today talking about a couple reactions that we as Christians sometimes have. When, when there's things and, and situations and people that we're up against that we don't agree with, I mean, we really don't agree with, we often, we go one of two ways. We either hide from them and ignore the situation and, and be of non-effect as, as a Christian witness, or we go the other way and there's another H, we don't hide from them, we hate them. Uh, yeah, that's right. Christians actually get to the point where we hate. Now, we're supposed to hate uh, lies, we're supposed to hate the devil, we're supposed to hate a lot of things, but we're not supposed to hate people. Uh, in fact, God says so in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I mean, like, he gave his son, Jesus Christ, for the world, the sinners. That means every, every sin you can think of, the worst kind, he loved the people just in spite of that and still gave his best for them. We should do the same. If you want to be a successful Christian, if you want to have impact with your life, then you need to change from hiding, you need to change from hating, and replace that with a word that I like to say is stand, stand. Because the Bible says in, in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, it says, put on the whole armor of God, why? that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Stand. So if you're going to go out and do something and have an impact with your Christian life, make a stand for the Word of God, but don't let hatred get in the way, and don't let cowardice get in the way. Rather, stand. Stand your ground. Speak your peace with love unashamedly. Mike McDonald, dashlegacy.com.